Hi dear, today we will start the biology chapter 6 life processes. So the life processes which deals with the living organisms. Okay. Uh, so how do you first say the, whether the organism is uh, alive or not? How will you uh, how will you find that? Okay. So there are some characteristics which shows that this organism is a living organism. It is alive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the uh, things are the characteristics are movement, movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion and nutrition. Okay. These are the basic characteristics of the living organism. Okay. You can remember this characteristics by a mnemonic uh, Mrs. Gren. Okay. Mrs. Gren. Uh, movement, respiration, sensitivity, uh, growth, reproduction, excretion and nutrition. Okay. So, the, these are the basic characteristics of the living organism. This shows that, that our organisms are alive. Right. Okay. So, I covered the questions from the first two pages also. So, why the visible movement is not the defining characteristics of the organism? Why? Why the movement alone is not the defining characteristics of the organism? Because even if they are not moving, it, it is alive. We can see that, right? So, what is the thing we have seen in our day-to-day -day life? Plants are not visibly growing. Okay? We, we see that the plants are growing. No, no, it is not visibly growing. But over time, it, it has grown. It shows that it is a living organism. It's growing, right? So, plants are not visibly growing, but still uh, it is alive, right? Some animals can breathe without visible movement. If we people breathe, uh, you can see this uh, lungs are expanding and uh, uh, sh shrink, right? Expand and it will shrink, right? You can see the stomach, you can move, you can see the movement, right? So, we can say that we are, uh, we are breathing, right? So, some animals will not show this uh, movement while breathing, okay? So, still, it, uh, but it is alive, right? So, the, uh, so we will not say the visible movement alone is a defining characteristics of living organism, okay? Because even if it, if it is not visibly uh, seen, visib it is not visible, some organisms are still alive, right? Okay, next. <coughs> These, uh, most of the things we, we can see, but uh, to our eyes, some things, uh, some movements will not be visible to our uh, uh, naked eyes, right? So, that movement is a molecular movement, right? These are the movements of various molecules from one place to another inside the cell and in between the cells. Do you ever see this uh, movement of the uh, molecules in, inside the cell? And we are not even able to see the cell, right? can able to see the organs, tissues and also, but still inside the cell, you are able to see with the naked eyes? No. So, in that cell, the cell contains some organelles, right? So, the movement, uh, in, uh, the movement of the molecules from one place to another inside the cell, in between the cells is called molecular movements, right? But uh, one controversy is there, whether virus is alive or not, okay? Viruses do not show molecular movement. It will not show molecular movement. It will be uh, kept as it is. Okay. We thought it, it, it is not alive. But when, when it infects some cells, we can see that. Okay. That, that time we will say it is alive. So, we cannot say whether virus is live or not. Okay. Uh, virus are, because the virus do, uh, do not show molecular movement until they infect some cell. Okay. Why are molecular movements needed for life? Why it is needed for our life? So, this molecular movements, that is movement of the molecules inside the cell is very, very essential for the repair and maintenance of the structure. You know that uh, we are all multicellular organisms. We are having a cells, uh, cells group of uh, similar cells form a tissue and a group of tissues will form an organ and uh, uh, group of organ which perform a similar function form an organ system right so uh, uh, we, uh, it, since it is a, a, a proper organized structure so there may be a uh, over time we will get the uh, parts may get uh, break uh, I mean 
there there may be a over time there may be a breakdown of these things happen okay to keep us alive it has to be repaired who will repair all this thing and who will maintain this all the all the things so again the cell cell because cell is the basic function of the uh, basic building block or be, uh, uh, build block basic unit of life organisms okay so this molecular movements why it is needed for our life to repair and maintain the structure because over time living structures are likely to keep breaking down due to the effect of enron right next what are the maintenance we, we have mentioned that you know, to repair and maintain the structure what is this uh, uh, repair means you know if we got some uh, hurt it automatically it will be healed right so what are the maintenance uh, they are doing what is the maintenance works uh, done by this uh, living organism so what are the maintenance process in living organism is main four essential process are there that is nutrition respiration transportation and excretion so in this life process lesson we are going to see only these four essential process okay maintenance process so this nutrition respiration transpiration transport transportation and excretion okay so our lesson name is life process what is mean by the life process is nothing but if uh, they we said no repair and maintenance of the structure for all this process uh, perform, processes are performed together to maintain a body alive is called your life processes okay the basic function performed by uh, performed by living organism to maintain their life or called life process can okay, in the simple words you can say like that otherwise you can uh, you can write like this all the processes which together keep the living organism alive without this process if you are not breathing you will you be alive no so all the process together this is very important if any one process is stop means then you will not be alive right all the process which together keep the living organism alive and perform tasks to maintain the body are called life processes clear next for this maintenance process we we have said uh, basic processes nutrition respiration transportation and excretion okay so how the maintenance process is carried out who will do all this thing what is required for that right so for the maintenance process we uh, why it is needed to prevent the damage and breakdown of the uh, muscles we are we are going to maintain the maintain right to maintain that to prevent the damage and breakdown what we required we need some energy to do the uh, damage okay we need energy to uh, Uh, to prevent the damage and to uh, repair the breakdown things right so from where we get the energy so what is the source of energy here we get the energy from the outside of the body only right outside of the you will get the source of energy from outside of the body right so what you what are the things you will get from the uh, from the outside food that is the main source of energy and oxygen for the breakdown of the uh, molecules and uh, water for the digestion purpose proper digestion purpose okay so this process of taking the outside raw materials to inside our body right transfer transferring is taking place right from outside to inside that process is called nutrition that process is called nutrition that is taking out of uh, energy uh, source of energy uh, oxygen and water from outside to inside that is transfer of all this food material from outside to inside our body this is called nutrition okay so ba uh, um, basically the life on earth is based on maximum of the life is based on the carbon based molecules in our in our earth okay so uh, based on the complexity of the carbon how the bond is uh, formed between the molecules uh, so based on this complexity so complexity so different nutritional process is there so for different organism different nutrition process is there uh, everywhere the nutrition process is not same that is uh, taking of the food okay 
uh, from outside to the inside it is not same for all the organisms so it will differ from one organism to another organism based on the what type of carbon it is taking how the uh, how how it is uh, complex or simple based on that it will differ okay so uh, once you have taken this uh, food how it will how will you get the energy from that it has to be breakdown right breakdown of the food has to happen okay how it will happen based on the chemical reaction okay so the the chemical uh, the chemical reaction involved is a oxidizing and reducing reaction right so that is addition of oxygen we know we already we have studied that here oxygen is required for breakdown of the food particles right so this oxidizing uh, reducing reaction is taking place that oxygen is required from outside the body right outside the body so once uh, you if you take this uh, oxygen how it will break down the food it makes uh, that is called the it it happens in the cells of e, uh, cell uh, each cell it happens in each cell right this oxygen uh, oxygen intake of oxygen for breakdown of food source for cellular need is called respiration that process is called respiration you know this respiration means what respiration is a process to get energy from the food by taking the oxygen okay Pro respiration is a, it's actually a process of getting energy energy from food how will you get the we are we had our food immediately will get the uh, energy no it has to be breakdown into simpler molecules it has to converted into energy by in uh, with the chemical reaction with the oxygen okay so this is called a respiration and also this intake of this uh, food or uh, oxygen is not same in uh, uh, all the organism in a single cellular organism and in multicellular organism it will differ okay so in single cell organism you, you know that uh, for example this is a amoeba right so how it will take the food where for example if the food is coming here means it it will engulf this right you you will, you will this is called this uh, pseudo uh, pseudopodia right pseudopodia means fall uh, pseudo means was falls pseudopodia pseudo means falls and false legs these are all false leg it can be converted into this shape whatever shape it want it can change they it will engulf the food and food will enter this part or if the food is coming from this side means it will expand the legs like this it it will engulf this food and it will enter the body right so in a single cell organism no specific organ for taking of the food or exchange of gas removal of waste is happen why because all the surface is exposed to the environment okay it can take all the from all the cells it can take the food gas everything will happen in all the entire surface of the organism is in contact with the environment so this simple diffusion process is enough for the cell requirement whatever the cell is required it will get from the outside the uh, outside the cell that is from the environment from all parts of the sur uh, from entire surface of the uh, organism okay but in case of multicellular organism multicellular multi means itself multicellular means means more uh, more cells um, different cells will be there different cells will performs different function right so different organ perform different uh, function so all the uh, for example uh, this lungs uh, lungs is not contact with the environment directly right it is used for the respiration process right and also for kidney it is for, uh, used for this removal of waste process is taking place in the kidney it is not in contact with the environment so different organ perform different functions respiration system excretion system circulatory system like this so many systems are there different organs perform different function all the cells may not be in direct contact with the sur uh, surrounding environment right right because it uh, uh, since different uh, work is performed by different organ uh, organs 
intake of food and air also take uh, taken care by only one organ system right we'll take the food only through our mouth we'll breathe in through our nostrils right so it, it is passed through only one way right one uh, uh, through one uh, organ so uh, all the cells will not be able to get the oxygen or food right so it has to be transported right so this uh, simple diffusion process is not enough for the uh, oxygen requirement or food requirement by the cell multicellular organisms right uh, so we need to transport the oxygen and uh, food to all parts of the body so we need a transportation system okay so once the transportation system is uh, done so and uh, after that uh, after it is transported all the breakdown of molecules will taken place in the cell since uh, most of the life process are based on the carbon based molecules food particles are based on the carbon so definitely you will get a when a reaction chemical reaction is taking place definitely you will get a by products that is waste waste will be created during this reaction so we, so once the waste has been created we cannot keep the waste inside our body right so it has to be removed so we need a separate excretion system for that so these are the once it has been uh, uh, done chemical process has been done uh, once the waste is created it has to be excreted come it has to come out from our body right we cannot keep the waste inside our body and it is also harmful to the body okay if you keep it for a longer period so these are the basic life process what is the basic life process life processes means what to repair and maintain in the body right so how will you maintain the body to maintain the body we need energy right we need energy from where you'll get the energy from the food food source food source food oxygen and water right so the all this thing will get from outside <coughs> and since we are in the single organisms uh, all the surface entire surface is exposed to the environment it can get a food by the diffusion method right in case of multicellular organism we cannot uh, we, uh, this diffusion alone is not enough because all the cells is not exposed to the environment right so uh, so it has to be once uh, we found the we got the uh, uh, food it has to uh, transfer to the it has to transfer to the it has to transfer inside from outside to inside that process is called nutrition once you got the nutrition it has to be break down into simpler molecules to get the energy right so uh, so it has to be moved to transported to all parts of the cell right through the transportation system once the transportation is done once the transportation is done then it has to be uh, uh transportation done then chemical process takes place so waste will be created once the waste is created it has to be removed it has to be removed by excretion system